So I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Cancer. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see, what do we have for cancer? So you have the Knight of Swords. You have the Two of Pentacles popping out in the reverse. So whoever this person is, they tried to run in and force something, create a lot of chaos. They were trying to overwhelm another person, have them disorganized. This could be you. Like somebody wanted you to be all over the place. And then you have the High Priestess. So this could have been some type of attack. This could be someone that's seeing you making some type of change. Maybe they found out you were aware of something. You found out something. You knew some type of secret. And you were able to find out using your intuition and your common sense. Yeah, this anchored this person. Yeah, it created a tower. They didn't want this to get out. Because whatever you found out, it exposed this person and they, they got upset. And they felt like they would, you know, create some type of ha havoc in your life, overwhelm you, um, create a lot of chaos and just forcefully come towards you and um, shake your life upside down. You have the four cups. Somebody rejected this person. Somebody could have withdrew from this person. They held back from that person. They didn't want anything to do with this person anymore. And this could be someone with the seven of pentacles that they invested a lot of time in. This could be money. They could have invested with that person. But they weren't getting anything out of it with the seven of pentacles. They invested a lot, but they didn't gain anything. So they ended up moving forward with the six of swords. This is someone who could have done some type of research and found out something about this person and they rejected that person. Like somebody has this deeper, um, deeper knowing, inner knowing about something. This could be someone other than you. So this could be the person that they were trying to hide this from that is rejecting them holding back from them they're viewing that person a totally different way now that they've done some type of research on this person you have the lovers and then the two of swords so this is someone who did not want another person to know that they have like a soulmate, a twin flame. They wanted to try to keep that person like stalled, indecisive, unsure, and just at a stalemate. They felt like they had some type of power over this person, but it was what what it was um whatever they were doing like and getting away with with seven of swords, whatever they were doing in secret. And this is something that they didn't want that person to know and they didn't expect for you to know. So you could have said something with the page of wands, communicated something to this person. Now, whoever this person is, this, this page of wands, it, it talks about um, being excited, free-spirited, inspiring you could be the love of this person's life and they've discovered this 
this is why they they moved on from whoever that person is but this person felt like they would always be able to stall that person this knowledge would be hidden from this person so with the high priestess being here they knew like they already knew knowledge of this they were very wise about you being the love of this person's life they didn't want them to be aware and they didn't expect for you to be aware of something that they were doing to keep this person stalled You have the Six of Pentacles. And then you have Justice. So yeah, something is definitely being balanced out. Something is being made fair. Because the truth was supposed to come out. Whether this person was trying to stop it or not, it was eventually going to explode, blow up in their face. You have the Page of Cups. And you have the sun. Yeah, this is someone that always admired you. And now they're thinking more positive about something. So they could have been very shy with the page of cups. They... We're not going to allow their emotions to get in the way. They wanted to hide how they truly felt about you, but now they're in a more positive energy. Because they're using their intuition. You have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're wanting to come towards you. This is someone who wants to express their emotions in a creative way. This could be a poem. This could be some type of um, message that they send you. Or they just could come towards you with a romantic offer. This is someone who's definitely going to reach out to you with the Six of Cups. This is a past life connection. And um, you could have known that person in your past. Or known that person in your childhood. Or you've just known that person for a long time. And somebody felt like they had the power to like keep this hidden. And whoever this person is, they could be very um, insecure, self-centered. You know, they want to be the main focus. So they wanted this person to stay focused on them. If this person focused on you, um, they knew that this person would be moving forward. Like they would be making a transition. Yeah, I'm thinking this. And this card popped out. Wow, you have karmic justice. Yeah, this is karmic justice, eternal justice, physical and spiritual justice that is being served. Because somebody have woken up to the truth. And this truth was hidden for a long time. Yeah, this is why they hid their emotions with hidden emotions being here. You have Virgo. So um, whoever this person is, they could be a Virgo or the person that was trying to hide this, this information from this person about a past life connection that you and them share. They could be a Virgo. They could be a Gemini. But this is someone who definitely tried to block your love life. And you have good karma. Yeah, even though this person is someone who tried to block your love life, they could have watched you receive some type of good karma. needy and codependent and then you have you've changed suffering in silence so yeah if this person was confident enough to reject them 
move away from this person, distance themselves from them. They feel like that person just up and change. And this was their worst fear with suffering in silence, like they can't sleep at night. This is someone who have rebuilt their confidence. They found out this person was someone that was a secret hater. You have federal case and then trickery. So this person did something like after this came out or got out or after they found out you knew this hidden knowledge, you were aware of something. They tried to create some type of trickery in your life and it has landed them in a federal case. Yeah, you have Taurus. One of these people could be a Taurus and then you have new love. Growth. Reevaluate. They were trying to use children and seeing things for what it is. So this person could have landed their self in a federal case if they tried to cause some type of trickery and they were trying to involve children. This has been reevaluated and um, they weren't aware. Like whoever is investigating this, they're seeing this person for what it is. They could definitely see that this person was very envious and jealous of you. Yeah, because you're someone that is wise. You use your common sense to find out this information about this person that could be someone you don't even know with secret hater being here. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, you're doing something um, that is helping your growth. You could be helping other people grow. You could be inspiring other people to make changes in their life. And this is why they envy you for this. It's like they don't want change. They don't want people to change. They don't want people to see things for what it is. This is the type of person that likes to see people confused. They're able to attack these people with manipulation um, and trickery. Yeah, but whoever this person is that have found out that um, you and them have some type of past life connection. That person is focusing on growth and they're focusing on new beginnings, new love. It's like finding out that a person, somebody found out that you were woke and they got scared. They got scared of being exposed or in fear of somebody rejecting them, their secret getting out, something that they did and they felt like they got away with. Or something that they felt like they had the power to hide. And they've landed their self in a situation that... Um, they don't see like this is something that is being made fair, especially if they did something injustice to you because they found out you were aware. You have reconciliation. So this is definitely a reunion that is getting ready to happen. And um, it's supposed to happen with you and whoever the person is that moved on from this person. Yeah, you have legal matters. So this could have been a legal situation that was supposed to stress you out. This was supposed to have you um, in the energy of fear, having panic attacks, being depressed, um, having sleepless nights. Yeah, but you ended up growing from this situation with change being here and intuition. You're someone that's very intuitive. You always go with your gut feeling. This is somebody that thought that they would be able to change your intuition. This could have been some type of psychic attack. This, this setup. This was a setup, a legal situation that somebody could have set you up in. 
And this was supposed to, you know, spiritually attack you. You went through a spiritual awakening. So this did not work. It's like you're already enlightened. You have finances. And then magnetic attraction. Now somebody thought that this would get another person to not reject them. That person would be attracted to them again, lust after them. And they would not be experiencing these money problems. That person would be giving them money with finances being here. So this could be someone that they were taking advantage of. They were using that person and they felt like they would always be able to do so. Yeah, this was an ex. And they could be experiencing a lot of money problems right now. We have signs and synchronicities. And then you have truth. So no matter what, whether you were aware, you use your common sense and found out this hidden knowledge about this person. And this could be just you finding out the hidden knowledge that this person is your um, past life love or your true love. The truth was still going to come out with signs and synchronicities and truth being here. Yeah, the universe was still going to bring you clarity, whoever the person is that you're meant to reunite with clarity. Yeah, you have player. And you have travel. Yeah, they were still going to disconnect from whoever this karmic energy is and set boundaries with this person. You have regret. And then grass is greener. Yeah, they're in regret because this person is realizing that they deserve better. They were unhappy with the connection that they had with this person. Yeah, and they found out about a faded meeting, faded encounter that is meant to happen between you and this person. Now, whoever this person is, if this is a twin flame or a soulmate, they've been very guarded. So they've just been taking out the time to um, focus on being single. They've been in isolation. This person is definitely keeping up with you with social media. So they could be watching you online. have unexpected income and you have the lovers sudden wealth adjudication and journey so yeah whoever the person is that you have this reunion with um they could be getting ready to receive some type of unexpected income Adjudication and journey, they've made a final decision to like go on a journey. And whatever they're wherever you know they're headed, they're going to receive a lot of sudden wealth. Yeah, then you have the lovers with this um this reconciliation. Now, whoever the person is that tried to hide this, they felt like if they could keep that person attached to them, they would be able to receive this unexpected income. They could benefit off of this reunion and they would be able to, you know, with thief being here, steal another person's reunion. But as they were attached to this person, they went through a lot of money problems. It's like somebody created false hope, placed an illusion over their self to think that they would be able to gain another person's, um, destiny 
something that they're destined to do, something that they would be rewarded for. But that person had to be aware. This is someone who needed to gain the wisdom and the knowledge of the unknown, something that they did not know before they would be able to gain this um, sudden wealth. They had to detach from whoever this person is. So you have you're being helped, healing heart. So you could be someone that's a powerful healer. And you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes for you. And this is why I say whatever that person did to try to keep this hidden, it was eventually going to come out and blow up in their face. But you're being helped even though you... Um, even though you didn't see something or you didn't know, you were still being helped. You're protected. You're someone that's a powerful healer. Yeah, empowerment. You're someone that is way more powerful than you realize. And it is safe for you to be powerful. Whatever you have found out, this could have helped you you know, get away from someone that was very deceptive or just have helped you make some type of transition in your life that was needed. But you being a powerful healer, you're someone that is supposed to be helping people out of similar situations that you went through. And this could be off just based off of your testimony and things that, you know, the changes that you've made and people are paying attention to. Yeah, somebody thought that they had the power to hide another person's destiny or something like that from them. They didn't expect for you to get woke. They didn't expect for you to find out, this person to find out, and they didn't know they didn't have that type of power. This person had a placed some type of illusion over their self because they were so geeked up with this hidden motive. They made their self believe that they would be able to gain some type of sudden wealth, um, they would be the judge, the jury over you and another person's journey together. And it backfired. 